my father had the first had the first records. Um, some of them I still got there, and um, some of them, of course, were the ones that uh, we used the Yardbirds because it changed. It, the Yardbirds became what the Yardbirds became through a lot of the music that I had, actually, basically, and it was really the blues. Yeah, the first time the Stones played in Richmond, I saw them play. And then they used to play opposite Richmond Station. Um, and we used to go every Sunday to see that. And it, it you know, because of Chuck Berry and things, I'd never heard Chuck Berry because I was all into sort of older blues, really, in those days. And so it was interesting to get into all of that stuff, you know. And, and they were great, you know, really, really. I've got a photograph of, of me and Drea by the band, actually, which they bought from me when they um, when they did one of their their books, actually, and um, it's quite a photograph. That's lovely. We, the basically the Yardbirds, had played, you know, and and we played down in Eel Pie Club, but that actually is what changed things. We played in. Um, in Cyril's band in the middle and that was the, f the first day that the words the Yardbirds came out we had another name before that actually which I can't remember but um, the Yardbirds came out that day you see and we played there and Cyril was so impressed with us he said would you please play um, uh, one of my gigs that I do every week because I can't do it you see and then um, then we came back, uh, Giorgio, um, in fact I've got a photograph of it actually, but the place just to the side of the, of the station in Richmond, there on the second floor, we, um, we got the band there and got him there to sit there for half an hour, Giorgio, and we played. And he said, that's great. He said, I'm going to sign you up. And he did. And then um, the Stones left because um, they went on tour and we took over and I tell you what the place was unbelievable and we were unbelievable and the whole thing went into another level which nobody had ever really had in England actually and it was blues and it had the soul of blues because true blues when you really listen to it and you listen to it live not so much these days but in those days um, it actually changed the manner that you were within yourself. Um, it healed you. History as it goes was, you know, I played very well. Drea was only, um, you know, the basic, he didn't play any leads or anything. He was just very basic. I taught him to play before that. He had a lot of money. I had no money at all. And that was a difficult one. Um, but also at 15, um, I'd been put into Epsom Art School. I left Holyfield Road. I'd been there for three years. And um, Drea was also there. Um, and uh, as was Eric Clapton. Eric used to come to our house, you know, on Saturdays. I was to do Robert Johnson and all that kind of stuff, you know, it was all that sort of thing. And um, so anyway, um, I went to Epsom and they said, yes, you know, but you don't have to go in with young people, we put you with the old people. I was 15. And then I said to my dad, well, I actually want to leave and um, join this band, you see. Well, in those days, I mean, being in a band was something very unusual. You know, it really was. And he said, there's no way I'm allowing you to do that. 